Good morning, everyone. How is everyone this morning? Have you had your coffee? I have. Okay, guess what today is? Today is an unboxing, revealing of new molds. And those new molds are from... Into Resin. Um, Into Resin has uh, decided that they're going to do start doing a collaboration with us um, on a monthly basis, and so they have asked us to pick molds. Five, or I don't necessarily think that they want us to do five uh, molds. They they ba basically said five products. So, and I may have misunderstood that. Um, I'm not sure, but um, so I got mine late yesterday, and so today we're gonna see what I got. So let's dig into these. I just love their little bags that they send us. And um, see what we have. Okay. So the first one is handmade cross storage jar mold. Aww. They put little thank yous on their plastic wrap. That's new. And it's in the shape of the crown, you know? And then it has a little cross on top of it. It's kind of hard to explain, but this is the little lid that goes on top of it. But in, I don't know if you can see inside of there has all the little intricate details for the crown and then the jewels are all along the side and then like I said on the top it's a cross and I just thought that was adorable and then this is the lid I don't want to touch it if I don't have to but it has all the intricate details in it as well around the lid so cute so cute so that's the the uh, I am excited to do this one because it is a pair of hands that are like this and then there are four puzzle pieces that you make and they fit inside of the hands and they're, they make a heart. And so I'm not gonna reveal what I'm gonna make, but I have big plans for this mold, big, big plans. And I think you're gonna love it. I put a lot of thought into the molds that I chose for this for these that I chose so I didn't just just go out and randomly choose you know these molds I put a lot of thought into the reasons why I chose them so I can't wait to do this one this may be the first one I do so but it's a pair of hands and they are holding a heart and the heart is a puzzle piece. They're each puzzle pieces. So that's mold number two. This one is a tree of life on the inside. Look how beautiful that is. Such intricate detail. can't wait to make this one too. So this is a tree of life. 
That's cool. They made that matte on the outside so it's not sticky. That's really cool. Very, very quality. Quality mold. And paper on the bottom. I leave that on there. I don't take those off. I just leave it on there all the time. And then they made this mat appear on top too so that it's not sticky. And then that's all textured up there. And then there's a tree in the inside and it has, well, it's the tree of life, obviously. But isn't that beautiful? It's gorgeous. Very pretty. So there's mold number three. These are all fairly little, but they're uh, rough edge rock type coasters. A little thinner than I thought they would be, but it's okay. They're all different sizes, different shapes. I mean, coasters don't have to be extremely thick. They don't need to be. But they all have a live edge. I guess that's what you would call it. So this was just a general pick because I needed some new coasters. So there, and that's the holder. And then little heart doodads. I'm not sure what those are for. But, oh, 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 honestly, I don't know. Okay, this I can't wait to make. It is a starfish dish. Is that not cute? <laughs> I can't wait to make this one. I don't know what these are for. They're pins that you screw into something. But this it came out of here, I'm sure, but I think that's just an extra because I don't recall <laughs> this being part of it. But look! There's some... Look at, that, look at all that detail in there. I'm so excited! I can't wait! It's a little starfish dish. And then... Uh, 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 I'm so excited. We just might have to make this one first. All the little rhinestones and then the little... Um, I guess those are stars? Or maybe they're little starfishes in there? And they're all sparkly? Is that not the cutest you've ever seen? You know me in ocean life. I have a weakness for ocean life. I was talking to Lori in the comments this morning. She doesn't have any oceans around her either. And I was telling her, yeah, I'm from Kansas. We have no oceans around here either. But um, I go to aquariums, you know, a lot. And the, my most favorite one is in Oklahoma in Oklahoma City and the reason it's my favorite is because they have this open area in the aquarium and they have a sea turtle and you can walk up on this balcony type thing and you can you know look over the edge and this beautiful sea turtle is swimming around you know it's pretty deep you can, and you can look from down below too through glass, but you can go up and you can look over the edge and watch him swim. It's so, I love, sea turtles are my favorite. On my uh, bucket list is to be able to go someday and see sea turtles being born and making their way to the ocean. That's one of my things on my bucket list. And, uh, but sea turtles have always been my favorite. And um, 
So that's why you see a lot of things being done with turtles because, especially sea turtles, because they're my favorite, so. All right, let me uh, mix up some resin and I'll be right back. Okay, you guys, um, I haven't mixed up any resin yet because I have been doing this. I totally forgot. I need to brush, <laughs> brush these leaves before I do this. And so I've got one side done and now I need to do the other side. And so I want to show you um, what I've been doing. So this side is done in green. This side I'm going to do in maple to show the seasons, uh, fall and summer or fall and spring, fall and whatever. Um, can't show winter because winter would be no leaves at all. Um, and so since fall and spring are the prettiest, that's what I chose. And so I used my green color shift chameleon and on, then on these I'm going to use the maple from Let's Resin. And I want to tell you, this is not easy trying to get these colors on here because there's just not very much room and they're just little tiny spaces and this stuff goes everywhere. And trying to put it on here without getting it everywhere and trying not to make a mess plus you know alcohol mm -mm. so I'm trying to go in here and do the bigger leaves first so that's what I did on the other side I'm using a micro brush because it's so much easier. I know it's kind of hard to see. Trying to be as gentle as possible. Okay, I will be back once these are done and my resin's mixed up. I am going to use the Let's Resin Casting Resin. And because it is the clearest resin for me. what I used on my table or my ocean scene. I just love that resin because it's the clarity is just phenomenal. And so 
that's what I'll be using. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I ran this through my vacuum chamber because I want this to be bubble free. <laughs> All right. Are we ready? What do you think? I got it as clean as I possibly could. That was hard <laughs> to get that clean. Let's see. Is that clear? I can't tell. Can you guys see that? Hopefully my camera's focusing on it. Okay. Here we go. Let's get some resin in here before this starts heating up. Let's I mixed up 8 ounces. I have no clue how much this takes. So, I am just going to pour down this side and just let it roll in there really slow the first four ounces. feeling it was going to need nine ounces. That's okay. I'll mix up some more. Not a problem. I will mix up the last little bit and get it in there and then we will come back when this is ready to demold. See you guys on Demold. Welcome back, y'all. Are you ready to see what this looks like? I know I am. <gasps> see how this comes out of here. You know, I got to thinking. 
after I got this, I said I was going to do the starfish and then I ended up doing this. It's because I changed my mind. <laughs> you know how I am. Uh, I always do that. Always change my mind. I'm trying not to touch the inside of it. Inside of the mold. Oh my gosh, you guys, look. The colors. You can't see them very well, but I think if I put a backing on just this, because I wanted you to see the clarity of the mold. Let me put some gloves on. I just don't want to put fingerprints all over it. I have to wipe it off. Very pretty. I don't know. You guys have to tell me what you think just based on what you can see. You can probably see my phone reflecting in there too. Or maybe I can just fill this in. Not the clear part, just this. You know what I mean? Just go in there and just carefully fill those in. Just the leaves and the and that and nothing else. Leave the clear clear and just fill in those those colors of the you know the leaves to make them pop. I might do that and make them pop that way because then, then I won't take away from any of the clear so just go in and fill all of these and all of this and then I can do it with black and it won't hinder any of the clear Yeah, I think that's what I'll do. Just fill all this in with black. And I'll do it with UV resin. That way I don't have to worry about waiting for it to cure. So let me try it on a few of these. Okay. Let's just try this on a... couple of these leaves. So the brown shows up more because it's just mica powder.
on a couple of these green leaves if I can get this picked up. Okay. The good thing about this is I can cure it from underneath, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that just made that leaf pop. So that's what I need to do, is to fill them in with black. That's so much better. So much better. All right, well that answers that question. Okay, well I need, now I know what I need to do. And then see, then I won't be covering up any of the clear. I'll just be putting black in those leaves. I've seen Daniel do this technique before. So that makes total sense versus trying to fill in that whole thing and taking away from the clear part of it, then in then then everything will pop. Okay. That makes total sense. All right, I will go in and I will put in black fill it in, and then I'll come back to you when it's completely done. So that way you don't have to sit here and watch me do this because it's basically what you just seen me do. I'm going to do that on this, this whole thing, all of these spaces. And it'll, it's going to take me a bit. And then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay? All right. I'll be back when it's done. <laughs> okay, guys. I'll be back in a little while. 
Okay, welcome back everyone. I got a little preoccupied with the news. Um, so, but I did get it done. And this is what it looks like. Got my UV light on behind it. But I took you down off the tripod so I could give you a better look without the lights blaring on you. Give you a little close up here. So the green and the maple just pop now that I've put in the tree branches. They look really good now. Can you see that? Mo better. So much better. And basically, all I did was just fill it in with black. So glad I didn't do it the other way because now you can really see the clarity in the clear. And if you turn it a certain way, you can kind of see the you can actually see from the reverse. Look at that. The leaves are reflecting off the front. It's really a cool, cool little deal. And then if you turn it this way, you can see the maple leaves reflecting off the front. I really want to put a light on underneath this to see what it looks like shining up from underneath it. Do I still have my light? I do, but it's buried. So I'll get some, that is so cool. Look at that. So pretty, so, so pretty. So glad I did that. Very nice. Well, there is my first mold done from Into Resin. And this is the tree mold. I don't know that it's actually called the Tree of Life, but you know, it looks like a Tree of Life to me. And I just did it with, uh, I'm gonna sneeze, <coughs> excuse me with the spring on one side and fall on the other because that's the way life is. You're gonna always have the seasons and so that's the way I did it. So, what do you guys think? I think it's beautiful. Very clear, very pretty. I love it. All right, guys, let me know what you think in the comments. This is my first mold done for the Into Resin. And I will link this in the comment or in my description box. Uh, so always look in my description box, guys, if you need to know anything I've used in the video. Um, the molds, the resin, the powders, anything. I always link everything in the description box. And I know my description box has a lot of information in it, but um, I have went through and changed it recently and I tried to make it so that it, each section stands out better. Um, so all of my links to discounts are in one section. Um, all of the links to products I use in my videos is in one section. And then my explanation to what I did in my videos in one section. So I've, I've sectioned it all out. So it should be pretty easy to uh, find anything you need in the video. So, and if you would like to see something else or a different way just please let me know so that I can change it and make it easier for you. Because sometimes the way I think something 
is easier to read is not the way for you to read it. So please let me know. All right, guys, everybody have a great evening and everybody pray for President Trump since he was shot this evening and the way things are going, it doesn't surprise me, but please pray for him and oh, Lord, everybody have a great evening. Good night, everyone. Okay, guys, I had to get the light out. You have to check this out. Wait till it comes to the white. Sorry, I gotta get my butt back on the chair. I wish I could stop it on the white, but look at that. <laughs> but it is really pretty with the light under it. But I think it would be really pretty if, if there was a white one. I don't have a white one. I need to get some white ones. But that's just beautiful. Okay, I'm done. All right, everyone. Goodbye. <laughs>